Like a chap depends on the container that it's in Like a cup of medicine, a like a chap depends science lesson our topic today is about matter solid liquid and gas what is matter matter is everything around us matter exists in three different states a state of matter is called a phase this phase are known as solid, liquid, or gas. States of matter, they are solid, liquid, and gas. Picture number one, a brick is a solid. Yeah, the example of solid. The other example is like uh, glasses, uh, table, pencil, and the others. Yeah, the picture number two is the air inside the bubble is a gas. The other example a gas is like oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide or helium and then the picture is the example of liquid water is a liquid the other example of liquid is like a ketchup a slime a syrup and the others again Look at the picture. It is Sunny's 10th birthday party. Can you identify two solids, liquid gases on his birthday table? Good. What are they? Yeah, solid is like glass and jug. Liquid is syrup. And then gases is helium inside the balloon. Gases in air. Air is everywhere around us. Air is a mixture of different gases. We can we cannot see or smell this gas in the in air. Air also contains a gas called oxygen. We need oxygen to live. We breathe in oxygen. We breathe out a gas called carbon dioxide, which is also found in air. 
Some gas do have color like chlorine. Chlorine gas is yellow. Yeah. Look at the picture. There is example chlorine. And then some some gas also have a smell like hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide smells like rotten egg. Matter is made of particles. The particles is very small parts of something. So scientists can use a scientific model to explain how and why something happens. The particle model is a good way to explain the differences between solid, liquids, and gas. This model says that all matter is made of particles. In real life, the particles in matter are too small to see. In the model, we can show the particle as little balls. The particles in matter are always moving. They are always moving, even even in things that look still. The amount of movement of the particles decides whether something is a solid, liquid, or gas. Picture number two is solid particles. Particles within a solid are packaged together very tightly in fixed position. This makes it difficult for the solid to change shape. The picture number two, particles within a liquid are close together, but they can slide past each other and change places. Because of this, liquid can change shape easily. And then picture number two, particles within a gas are spaced for a part. This is why gases can have any shape. They can also be squashed easily. Yeah, picture number one is solid, picture number two is liquid, and then picture number three is gas. Okay guys, let's have a quick review what we have learned today. Number one, Matter is everything around us. Number two, matter can exist in the different phase. They are solid, liquid, or gas. Number three, air is mixture of different gases. Number four, all matter is made of particles. Number five, solid keep their shape as the particles do not change position. Number six, liquid can change their Shape as the particles are able to slide past each other. Number seven, gases can have any shape as the particles move far away from each other. And then the last is, gases take on the shape of the container. Okay, guys, enough for today. Don't forget, please do the exercise on your science activity book. First exercise 3.1 page of 26 and then second exercise 3.2 number 1 page of 27 and don't forget to submit with your teacher class. Okay, let's say hamdalah alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Thank you so much everyone uh, and see you on next our lesson. Don't forget to stay healthy, stay happy at home. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.